Welcome again to another tutorial. Today I want to show you how I create photo or video slideshows easily within LumaFusion. So let's jump straight into it. I start off by selecting a background. I've selected a wooden box effect as I'm going to add some items to it as it scrolls along. Add this to your main timeline and extend the clip's duration for 30 seconds. Resize the image in the frame and fit section of the editor so it fills the screen. Add a keyframe at the start with the image centered. Add a second keyframe at the 30 second mark and set the position X value to minus 200. Back in the main window, duplicate the clip so it's placed directly above. Enter the editor and change the first keyframe X value to 200, and the second keyframe at the 30 seconds mark to 0. I don't like how they look at the join, so I've mirrored the image using the flip horizontal button. Ok, so I've finished my background but now I'd like to add some items to it as it scrolls along. I'm using Envato Elements as they have a number of suitable 3D images that allow you to change the angle of the image, and then download as a PNG file with a transparent background. I'll leave a link below for Envato. It is a subscription service but with the method I'm using any other images will work just the same. I've added a 3 second still image to the start of the timeline for a short intro. I've added an overlay title, set the duration for 3 seconds and have keyframed it to pop into view before transitioning out. I've also added the camera to the timeline. In the edit screen I added a hard light blend effect so it's more in keeping with my background. It's been keyframed to initially bounce into view before matching the speed of the background moving to the left of the screen. I'll add a download link to the two transitions in the comments. Export the video to photos and add this export to a new project ready to add the photographs. Add an overlay title and enter the edit screen. I've added two shapes, each sized 45 by 60. They have a shadow of 15 and angles of 7.5 and minus 14. I've added a new layer and selected image. Photographs can be added by selecting import image and positioning them on top of each of the shapes to give them a border. In the frame and fit section I've keyframed it to slide into view. I've added 3 keyframes at the end point of the transition 5 frames apart, this is for the slowing down effect. Ok, now we have created the first overlay title we can use this as a template to create different styles and then finally as a group of slideshow templates ready to add images to. I've duplicated the overlay title twice and placed them on different timelines 3 seconds apart. This gives enough time for the photographs to be seen before the next set slide into view. In the edit screen I changed the angle of the shapes and resized the pictures accordingly. Try experimenting with various sizes and transitions to see what works best for you. If you'd like to add a video clip like in my example, this can be done by placing the clip above the overlay title, resize it and then add the keyframes. Now that the overlay titles have been created, copy and paste or duplicate to add more. Simply enter the edit screen, select import photo and choose different pictures to quickly complete a slideshow. That's it for this video. I hope I've inspired you to create your own slideshow, don't forget to comment with your video links.